Hello everyone, my name is Human Hashemi, Applications Engineer. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce some exciting customer enabling tools that we have developed for the LTC6563 quad channel high speed low noise LiDAR receiver. You may have seen this product or heard of it because it is gaining uh, a huge following in many automotive and industrial LiDAR and sensing applications. The product preliminary data sheet is now on the web that you can look at. Uh, today, I will take the time to show you some of the neat features of this part that I hope you'll find useful. One of the unique features of this part, which comes as four receivers in a three millimeter by five millimeter QFN package is the compactness of the solution. There are very few external components needed because LTC6563 has differential ADC driving, common mode level shifting, output clamping, tilt control, muxing capability, and offset correction all built in. This results in a very compact form factor, ideal for multi-channel receiver packages. There's also shutdown and power saving features incorporated for space constraint environments such as automotive LiDAR, where heat exchange and ventilation is a challenge. This solution also addresses the problem that many customers face in trying to interface to multi-channel optical detectors, such as APDs or avalanche photodiodes, which have a small pitch, which complicates the TIA or trans impedance amplifier connection in order to preserve noise, coupling, and bandwidth specifications. In order to demonstrate the compact solution size that we have targeted with this device, we've produced a lab board seen here where we have squeezed 16 channels or four LTC 6563s onto the small size you see within the dashed lines, which is 25 millimeters by 18 millimeter. There is also a whole bunch of SMA connectors that we've put on the board because we want to use this board in the factory to characterize the part. I want you to note that these SMA connectors won't be in the actual customer solution, and the entire solution will fit within the dashed boundaries marked on the board. This solution size will line up perfectly with some of the multi-channel APD and optic solutions out there. As I mentioned earlier, this makes for low noise, high bandwidth coupling and performance. With a flexible board like this, we're able to exercise many of the features that a typical customer would need. And we've built into the part in order to make sure he or she can get to the market quickly by relying on ADI to ensure these features function well and are trouble free. With multi-channel receivers, one of the more important concerns is the ability to switch cleanly between channels and also between different devices with minimal power dissipation. We've looked at that with these boards and I would like to share some of these results with you next. Quite a bit of attention was paid to LTC 6563's design to minimize any switching glitches and delays while saving power. For example, here you see the effect of switching to low power mode or coming out of low power mode on the output signal which are the waveforms in the lower part of the scope image. We use the PWRMD pin to switch to low power when we take the signal low and vice versa. The OMOX signal you see is to enable the device in a bank of devices within a multi-channel system. You'll notice an output disturbance that only lasts about 22 nanoseconds or so when going to low power on the left and only about 35 nanoseconds when we come out of low power on the right-hand image. These quick responses while saving power are exactly what these receivers need. To do fast channel switching with minimal power consumption, we can manipulate the PRWMD pin to our advantage. This pin turns off the power to the input stage of non-selected devices. In this mode, channel switching is not as fast. So here we've looked at the instance when we select the channel to make sure outputs are switched or appear quickly and glitch-free. 
we only need to enable PRWMD 50 nanoseconds or so prior to channel switching for best results. This allows for low power, fast channel switching operation. Something else we want to make sure is that when a device within a multi-channel is selected or muxed, it won't cause any output glitches within the system and the switching action is quick. That's especially true if the customer has taken advantage of the power saving mode which PRWMD signal offers. Here you see the outputs moving around glitch free and properly after OMOX being enabled, which is what you get when you are switching from device to device with all these devices sharing the outputs. To get this fast glitch free operation, we recommend that the user take the device out of power saving mode at least 50 nanoseconds prior to enabling MUX. This is another power savings feature. As a reminder, the LTC6563 allows our customers to take advantage of its many features to build the lowest noise, highest bandwidth, and lowest part count LiDAR high channel count receivers. The unique features of LTC6563 and its small form factor is finding a great following in the industry. And we hope you too can utilize this part in your system for best results. If you have any questions, here's the email address to contact us. We also would like to point you to a live demo of this product on our website at the address shown. Thank you.